747 on this Friday morning. Tomorrow marks the 37th anniversary of Elvis Presley's death. So we are remembering the king of rock and roll. It is Dan's Daily Destination, and it's delicious. It's live at Nick's Cafe in Golden, and he has more. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You know what? Today we're actually going to reveal the name of the man who made the sandwich, the sandwich for the king, Elvis Presley. Years ago, Elvis actually flew halfway across the country for this sandwich. Nick, Nick Andrew Lacus, nice to see you. Nice you, to you. You own Nick's Cafe in Lakewood. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? All right. First, I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. First, I want to ask you, you know Elvis. You've yes. met him at least five times. Yes. Uh, tell me the ver first time you met him, under what circumstances? He had a concert, flew to town, uh -huh. went to the Colorado Mine Company to have dinner after the concert. That's an old restaurant. Yes, it is. It's, it's in the 70s and the 80s. Mm -hmm. Had dinner with us, a uh, short visit, then he flew back uh, to get sandwiches for Lisa Marie's eighth birthday party. That's the second time we met him. Now, you created a sandwich for the king. Obviously, you are a fan of the king. Here we are in your awesome little cafe in Lakewood, and there's nothing but uh, Elvis uh, pictures and memorabilia everywhere, man. Uh, so I, let's, let's get it out there. Full disclosure, you love the king, but you created this sandwich. How did you create this sandwich? Where did you get the idea? Well, it was, a, it was actually a, an item on the menu. We wanted to have a fun item on the menu because we were a serious steakhouse, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we came up with a peanut butter, jelly, and uh, bacon sandwich. It's just... Uh, and it makes sense that would be in a steakhouse, a peanut butter sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> we did a lot of bacon back then, bacon on our salads, yeah. and uh, we just wanted to have something fun when people came in if they wanted a little... You know, lighten up a little bit. And, uh, we, we served about... Well, you said lighten up a little. Light yeah. about this Co one. Cody said there's nothing light about this one. <laughs> this weighs about five pounds. But anyway, I'm sorry, I digress. But you created this. Yes. And then El how did Elvis get a hold of this? Well, the night he came in, the first night he came in, he wanted something to eat. He was hungry. He just did a concert. We suggested, uh, I suggested the fool's gold. He loved peanut butter. We loved uh, bacon, uh, jelly. So... He said, let's try it, and uh, he ate about half of it and loved it. All right, real quick, how many pounds of, and how many ingredients? That's a four-pound sandwich, a pound of peanut butter, a pound of jelly, a pound of bacon on a one-pound sourdough loaf. Oh, and 15 gallons of milk. Okay, now we're at Nick's Cafe in Lakewood, so if you want the sandwich, the Elvis, this sandwich, you can come up here and get it anytime. Serve it every day. And uh, coming up next hour, we're going to put this thing together and make it. And, uh, hey, maybe we should send back some to the, uh, our, our anchors back at the station and 15 gallons of milk. Be more than happy to. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> because that's my kind of sandwich right now. Dan, you need the workout. Pumping some iron this morning. Come on. Pumping iron. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you would have to lift that sandwich, huh? Heavy stuff. All right. It's 7.